So I have here one of these bad boys. I insert it into my computer. It automatically pops up Explorer. I'm going to close Explorer. Nothing seems to happen in Recordbox, but it is here because when I go to devices, you see that this is the USB drive that I've just inserted. I can click on this USB drive to see if there are some tracks and playlists already on this USB drive. And in this case, there are not. Now I go back to my playlists. Now to export the tracks of this playlist to your USB drive, right mouse click on that playlist and select the option export. Nope. Export playlist and click on the name of your USB drive. In my case, it's ESD USB. Then it gives me an information screen, what features are available on which devices. And I click on OK. And now it starts exporting, in other words, copying the tracks to your USB drive. It doesn't only copy the files, the music files itself, but it also copies the information of BPM, how your waveform looks like, where your cue points and hot cues are. But all that information is also exported to your USB drive. And you can see the progress here on the bottom of the screen. And please don't yank your USB drive out of your computer because you will corrupt the Recordbox library on your USB drive. Exporting playlists one by one is a little bit of a tedious process. There is another way to export multiple playlists at once. Regretfully, you can't select multiple playlists when you hold the shift button. That doesn't work. But what you can do is export all the playlists in a folder at once. You can do this by right mouse clicking on a folder and then select the option export folder and then select your USB drive. But you can do the same thing for all playlists at once by clicking with your right mouse button on playlists and clicking on export folder and then select your USB drive. There is actually a third way and that is via the sync manager. If you've changed just a couple of things in just one song or one playlist, then it's faster to use the export playlist with the right mouse click option. But if you've made multiple changes over multiple tracks in multiple playlists, it's hard to keep track of those changes. Well, the sync manager helps you with that. When you go to the left bottom corner of the screen, you can launch the sync manager. This screen has three columns on the left side, iTunes, in the middle, Recordbox, and on the right side, Devices. You can select your device over here. In this case, I have only one USB drive. What we are going to do is copy tracks from the left column to the right column. To do that, we must enable this option over here, synchronize playlist with device. Otherwise, you can't check the options over here. Now you are able to open folders and select playlists in this folder. For example, Deep House and Electra House. When just a couple of playlists are selected, you see a square over here. But when all are selected, then this will be a checkbox. You can also check a complete folder by clicking on the folder. And now you see that all the playlists in that folder are selected. To add it to the device, you click on sync. And now you see it starts exporting tracks to your USB drive. How can you see that? By looking at the bottom part of your screen. And you can also see that on your device, your folder is added. You can close this window if you want, because the export process will continue in the background. Now the export process is done. Now we can eject the drive from Recordbox because what happens is you, you, you can't use the Windows eject your drive because it says in, it's currently in use and that's because Recordbox holds your USB drive hostage. Every USB drive, by the way. So I'll click on OK. What I do to eject this drive is go to display devices and I click on the eject button over here. And now the device is gone and I can take it out of my USB drive. And now I can put it in a CDJ or an XDJ. 
By the way, you need to make sure that you have formatted your USB drive the right way because otherwise it can corrupt the library on your USB drive or it is extremely slow while exporting. You need to format the drive as FAT32 with the master boot record option. I will link a tutorial for Mac and a tutorial for Windows in the video description below to make sure you have done it the right way.